Hi, I'm Dr. Sandeep Jha. I'm a liver disease specialist and a liver transplant surgeon and I work as a consultant at Manipal Hospital which is in Dwarka, Delhi, India. Today we're going to talk about chronic hepatitis B or hepatitis B virus infection which can affect the liver. Now there are many viruses that can affect the liver but hepatitis B and hepatitis C are associated with severe liver damage and cirrhosis. Whereas hepatitis A and hepatitis E can also affect the liver, but they do not cause liver cirrhosis or liver failure. And these we'll discuss later. So chronic hepatitis B infection is caused by hepatitis B virus. Now, according to WHO estimates, up to 296 million patients are infected with hepatitis B virus worldwide and up to 1.9 million patients are infected every year with hepatitis B infection and close to a million deaths happened due to hepatitis B virus infection in 2019. Only about 10% of patients who are infected with hepatitis B virus are aware of the condition that they are infected with hepatitis B virus and only a quarter of such patients are on active treatment. So it is very important to get this information to as large a public as possible so they can get treatment for this condition and help prevent the spread of this condition. Up to 15 to 25 percent of patients with chronic hepatitis B will eventually develop cirrhosis, liver failure or liver cancer and the most effective treatment is to guard against hepatitis B infection because these Complications like cirrhosis and liver failure and liver cancer are associated with a very high risk of morbidity and mortality. Now, hepatitis B used to be a very uh, major cause of mortality a few decades earlier. But in the last few decades, very effective treatment has emerged for hepatitis B infection. And it is possible to manage such patients at all stages of the diseases by very effective treatment so that hepatitis B should not be a major cause of mortality in the future. Now chronic hepatitis B is not a condition like a heart attack or a brain stroke where the patient deteriorates very suddenly. This condition develops over years and decades but eventually it is known to be fatal because it can lead to situations like cirrhosis, liver failure and liver cancer. In the last few decades, survival has improved because better availability of vaccination in children, better availability of medication that can treat existing hepatitis B infection and availability of liver transplant which can cure the complications arising from chronic hepatitis B. Major source of infection of hepatitis B is transfer through contaminated blood or when blood from an infected patient of hepatitis B comes in direct contact with blood of a non-infected individual. One of the most common source of infection is mother to child transfer of hepatitis B. Hence, every perinatal program or prenatal program has included screening of mothers for hepatitis B in their regimen and any children born from infected uh, mothers are screened for hepatitis B and vaccinated and treatment are given to prevent development of chronic hepatitis B in such children. So hepatitis B vaccination can be given at 0, 1 and 6 months or an interval of 1 month and it has been included in universal immunization program in almost all countries and all children should be vaccinated against hepatitis B. Now adults can also contract hepatitis B infection. However, they are not routinely screened or vaccinated against hepatitis B. So if you are an adult and you have not been vaccinated, then you should be screened for hepatitis B infection. And if you are uh, free of infection, then you should be vaccinated if possible. Adult screening is not part of protocol, routine screening protocol. However, my suggestion would be that the next opportunity that you get when you visit a clinic or a hospital or you are drawing blood samples for any other investigation, you should get yourself screened for both hepatitis B and hepatitis C. So if we are able to timely identify and manage hepatitis B, then most of the complications of hepatitis B can be now prevented due to better medications and better management. Now these patients are at high risk of liver cancer as well.
it is known that any patient of cirrhosis has a high risk of liver cancer however patients who have hepatitis b can develop cancer independent of development of cirrhosis in such patient that means a patient with hepatitis b infection can develop cancer with or without development of cirrhosis so it is very important to actively look for development of cancer in the liver in all such patients with chronic hepatitis b infection now diagnosis of hepatitis b depends on identification of antigen of hepatitis b that is hbsag antigen that can be traced in the blood and patient can be diagnosed with hepatitis b and the confirmation is done by doing a hbb hepatitis b virus dna pcr which counts the number of copies of virus that are present in the body and the treatment protocols are heavily dependent on how much viral load you have inside your body or how much derangement of liver functions you have and hence you should be diagnosed and if found to be hepatitis b then you should seek active treatment for such a condition if you are diagnosed with chronic hepatitis b then your doctor will ask you to follow up every 3 to 6 months with some blood tests that includes liver function tests alpha fetoprotein and ultrasound of your abdomen and maybe a few other investigation that might be required from time to time so if you are infected with chronic hepatitis b then you should actively follow up every 3 to 6 months and preempt any problem that might arise from chronic hepatitis b now luckily chronic hepatitis b used to be a eventually a fatal disease a few decades back but due to better diagnosis and treatment it is a much lesser problem compared to a few decades back so you should get yourself diagnosed and screened and if found then you should be treated so treatment modalities are available at all stages of the disease that means vaccination for people who are not infected medications for people who have been recently infected and also if you have complication arising from chronic hepatitis b like cirrhosis chronic liver disease or liver cancer then the option of liver transplant is available to you but for these treatments to be effective it is mandatory that you follow up regularly with your doctor and get treatment as and when complications arise so remember if you have not been screened then you should get yourself screened for hepatitis b at the first opportunity that you get if you are found to be positive then you should screen your family members also for the similar condition and very good treatment modalities are available these days that can virtually eliminate hepatitis b virus from a body or keep it under check so that it does not cause any problems and even better medications are expected to be available in the near future so you should keep fighting the battle uh, and if severe complications like liver cancer or liver failure arise then you can exercise the option of going for a liver transplant as soon as possible so if you think there was useful information in video and you benefited from it then please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel so that more and more people can benefit from this information thank you